Frick Excuse me! This is Vicky Guerrero and you're listening to Going In Wrong. Hey, Brendo, Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Wrong News Brief. Uh, quick reminder for you all. This coming Sunday, of course, is Money in the Bank, and we're going to be doing you our live right. reactions right here at YouTube.com forward slash Stephen Larson. Be sure to join us. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But let's get right into it, Larson. Let's try to get this one up to 600 likes. Tell us what's in the news. The news. Roman Reigns, he's in the news. Mm. Uh, he spoke to TMZ, uh, providing some more detail about why he uh, removed himself from his match against Goldberg at WrestleMania 36. And uh, according to him, uh, he said, quote, a lot of people think it was based off of my health and the history of my fight against leukemia. Leukemia, sorry, but you know, just talk to my doctors and stuff. I am actually fine. My immune system is good. The drugs that I take in order to fight leukemia, they don't attack your immune system. Awesome. That's great. That's great. It's great to hear his immune system is fine. Absolutely. And then he went to detail uh, that he didn't take his hiatus to protect himself. But his family saying, quote, we just had two newborn twins, twin boys. They're eight weeks old. So I had to make a decision for them. I love this business. I mean, if anybody ever questions if I love this business, go back, go back about a year and a half ago. I came back as fast as possible. I could have took a lot longer time off to focus on my health. But they told me, yeah, you should be fine. They get in the ring and do things if you want to get back to normal. Uh, and I jumped as soon as they gave me the green light. But this is bigger than me. It's my family. It's my children. They are my legacy. No matter what I do in this world, my children are going to be the ones that represent my name and carry our name forward. So I had to make that choice for them to protect them. I don't know if I mentioned this before we started. Uh, these quotes are all from uh, Fifel. And it was an interview. Transcriptions. T- and it was an interview. TMZ, TMZ. transcripts. Transcript yeah. and Fifel. Thank yeah. you. Can't talk today. That's okay. It's a Friday, man. Uh, so uh, that's cool, man. Newborn twins. Oh, boy. That's a, that's a handful. Uh, got that right, right there. I, my uh, brother-in-law, uh, Zachary, he's got new. He's got uh, twin boys. They're tods. They're toddlers now, and uh, man, they're great. He's got tattoos all over. He's got he's got the Bam Bam like the head tattoo going. Yeah, he's yeah, the sweetest yeah. guy in the world. That's always how it works out. The guys with tattoos are the sweetest guys. But like he did one of them great Sears glamour shot. He's so he's turned into such a suburban. He was like a, a metal guy before, right? He's such a suburban guy now. He has like glamour <laughs> shots at Sears family portrait studio and oh, he has funny. like fake tats on his like kids arms and stuff. <laughs> it's great. He's terrific. This is a great that's great. But uh, yeah, dude, yeah, you don't want to mess with that. You got twin boys. You don't want to mess with that. Everybody no, coughing no. on you. Exactly. You, know? you don't want to risk it, man. You got, if you got, if you got newborns like in, in a normal world, it's, it's you don't want to risk things. Yeah. Um, the way things are going now, you definitely don't want to risk things. The worst is when you, you got a newborn and then your entire damn family wants to touch it. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Stop touching my kid. Stop it. Everybody. Anyways, uh, well, we're not going to dive into my family dynamics. Uh, we'll go back to Roman Reigns uh, and how he feels about being away from wrestling. He continues. He says, but yeah, man, I miss it. I want to be out there. I want to get back to work. I want to get back to normal, but I just feel like I have an obligation to me and my family and myself, but to my community, to not just me and my family and myself, but to my community and also, you know, set the example because at the end of the day, that's always in that, that wrestling, yeah, <laughs> wrestling terminology is always there. We can do a lot of different things and say a lot of different things, but it's through our actions that really speak volumes, and that's what I'm trying to do. He, do you view that as any shade towards what the WWE is doing? Well, I mean, not just the shade, any shade towards WWE is doing, but you know, like people like, oh, there's this horrible pandemic going on. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach. You know? Yeah, right. The idea that that we got to take this seriously, um, we should listen to uh, not so much. Uh, politicians who know nothing thing about actual science, but scientists themselves. Um, uh, you know, it's 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 uh, when when we were dealing with, you know, uh, uh, how to uh, address uh, adjust our work to the current situation. One of the things we were mindful of is, you know, we're we're two guys who respect and, and believe firmly in science. Yeah, and when uh, an overwhelming majority of of doctors and such say, hey. Uh, stay home we thought you know what maybe we should stay home not just for our own benefit but to uh, promote that idea and when you do go out is it really that difficult to put one of these on your face no it's not it's really not a big deal people it's not a really 
it's really not a big deal. I'm going to be spending most of my afternoon wearing a mask. i got to run some errands, so it is what it is. So this is interesting, too, though, because we've talked about this. We talked about this in News Brief earlier this week that Roman Reigns seemingly what, – what, is there heat with Roman Reigns in the office? What's going on with that? He was edited out of that Money in the Bank cash-in thing. WrestleTalk was saying they noticed that he had been taken off some of the banners uh, at WWE.com. Dave Meltzer, the wrestling, himself, the wrestling observer himself, offers up a possible explanation as to why Reigns – um, was edited from the WrestleMania 31 cash-in segment on this week's Raw, saying, quote, There isn't a rule on erasing Reigns, only that commentators aren't to mention his name. We're told the reaction by Vince McMahon regarding Reigns and how to handle the situation, quote, changes daily based on which way the wind is blowing, end quote, which is why one day they show him beating Triple H on SmackDown, then they edit him off of Raw, then they do a make-a-wish thing and have no clips of him, then they do an investment conference and Vince McMahon never says his name, but then they have a one-hour special on him on FS1. Uh, that's uh, end quote from Dave Meltzer. Um, yeah, I, I just sort of get the feeling that we've always heard that one of Vince's prime philosophies, his prime directive, if you will, is, don't promise something until unless you can give it to them. And yeah. I imagine in Vince's mind, he's might he might be thinking, we have no idea what Roman's headspace is in terms of when he would be ready to come back. So let's just not, you know, maybe don't show him getting pinned by Seth. Uh, you know, keep him out of the the mouths of commentators. I it it doesn't feel like this additional piece of the puzzle. Maybe there's not heat. It's just we're not sure how to deal with whether or not. Yeah, or to, to talk about Roman because we don't know when he's going to be coming back. He might mm -hmm. say tomorrow he's not going to come back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they've also been uh, pretty uh, adamant and clear that they're not going to address really what's going on in the world a whole hell of a lot, if at all. Yeah. And uh, maybe if they think, well, we have to, if we bring up Roman, then we have to come up with some uh, explanation why he's not here, which leads to all that i would think um, yeah it wouldn't surprise me if there is a little bit of overthinking involved with the oh yeah. wrestlemania hey braun Strowman all of a sudden just appeared in his place uh you know they announced it a day before instead of instead of executing any storylines around it uh mm -hmm. they just did like braun Strowman all of a sudden so uh so yeah it's honestly it was it's they've They've handled this in in all sorts of bizarre ways, but that's sort of to be expected from Vince. He's, he's yeah. Usually, going. if 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 there's something that's uh, potentially sensitive, you can expect WWE to handle it in the clumsiest way possible. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. Anyways, speaking of handing things clumsily, mm -hmm. uh, AJ Styles' return uh, got uh, mixed reviews, mm -hmm. seen by some as potentially underwhelming. Mm -hmm. His explanation of how he made it out of that uh, hole in the ground, basically non-existent, and to hear him tell it on his recent mixer stream. He feels the same exact way. This is what he had to say about his recent return to Raw. And transcript from this are from Pro Wrestling Sheet. Quote, I'm not going to do his accent anyways. Uh, the return could have been more. I've heard people talk about it. Well, I mean, you just kind of wasted it. AJ Styles was buried alive. He could have come back as a different character and a different mood, a different look, something different about AJ Styles. He came back. And he was exactly the same as before he got buried. I'm with you. He continues, I think circumstances had a lot to do with AJ Styles coming back when he did. Maybe we need some more star power in that match. Speaking about Money in the Bank, uh, there's a bit more. Quote, maybe that's what it is. I wish uh, we could have waited. I think, uh, let me get my video back. I think if times would have been different, uh, that would have been something that we went with. So yeah. apparently he's in agreement that uh, they should have been held off. Maybe it was a situation where they were like, hey, J hey AJ, you got to come back. Well, what's the story? I don't know. Let's go out there and, uh, and try to explain it best you can. All and you so wrestlers we, always complain about not having freedom. You figure it out. Here you go. Here's your bullet points. <laughs> this is a blank piece of paper. <laughs> Here's your bullet points. Here's. Oh, a by pen. the way, your music's playing. You go explain yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it did come off that way. It did come off like they were like, okay, so what's the story of me coming back? Just say something in the ring. It was like it. Uh, it, it was like that conversation between uh, Chuck and Trent at Starcast. Where you been, man? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> uh, yeah, number one, I really do appreciate the, the the be it Twitch or Mixer or even YouTube, I guess. But I don't think anybody really games on YouTube anymore. Although I guess they just signed PewDiePie to an exclusive. Um, wrestlers are taking to the airwaves directly. The new yeah, shoot interview Larson on yeah, the wrestlers own terms Good with thought. the wrestlers raking in the money. 
Yeah, not RF video. Not the, that other guy. <laughs> oh, but I love that guy. Is the gaming stream, man. It's great. We've seen the Chugs, a.k.a. Adam Cole, uh, Mia Yim, Red Dead mm-hmm. Redemption every single day. Uh, AJ's been on Mixer for a while now. Yeah, Paige is streaming now. She's on road um, to 4K subs. This is this is great stuff. She went on and she, Paige, she reviewed OSW's review of fighting with my family. That's something else. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention this, man. This is huge. When when you and I are set to come back together, mm-hmm. watch parties have become a whole new thing. I and, saw that they opened up the entirety of the Amazon Prime library. So last night, and you have no idea, last night we went through and we looked at, uh, I just typed in Amazon on the Prime Video site, wrestling, there is a wealth. A, Didn't we watch uh, that death match? There are multiple. Tournament. There are multiple deathmatch and extreme hardcore wrestling match DVDs on Prime. There are uh, uh, USWA. Uh, oh, interesting. There's tons, tons. Hmm. There's an entire documentary on Finn Balor <laughs> called uh, Smack, Real Rock and Roller. It's like called like Smack Up or something like that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That Iron Sheik doc is on there. There's a ton of a wealth. So you and I, man, when all this is said and done, we yeah. got to sketch out some time, maybe on a monthly basis, sit back and there do a go. watch party. 2021 watch party is full effect. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how we're going to make our money. Uh, yep. Anyways, uh, we got a smack down happening tonight in about six, six, uh, less than six hours, five and a half hours or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, we're going to have a preview. A lot going on tonight. Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt. They're going to come face to face. That's cool. Of course, this is our go home uh, episode uh, of Before Money in the Bank on Sunday. Uh, Jeff Hardy's comeback continues on Friday Night SmackDown. I'm sure there'll be some uh, altercation of uh, some degree with Sheamus because yeah. he seems to have beef with Jeff Hardy. So this is Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville ready to settle dispute in the ring. Yeah, they're supposed to have a match tonight. That's got to be a wonk finish, and then they'll do a thing at Money in the Bank. I, I would suspect, yes. I would think that's going to be the I case. I would suspect. Uh, next up, Tamina to team up with Lacey Evans against Bailey and Sasha Banks. Of course, Sasha is going to be taking on Tamina at Money in the Bank. Lacey Evans is in. No, Bailey's taking on Tamina. Sorry, yeah. Bailey, the current champion. Sasha Banks, odd man out. Lacey Evans is in the uh, Money in the Bank match. So we'll Correct. see how Sasha Banks plays into all this. Correct. And finally, Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak await mystery partner combat. King Corbin, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Cesaro. It's got to be Elias. You might record, man. Yep. Yep. Everybody, so wait a second. Elias, uh, there's no, there are no more remaining spots for Money in the Bank. Yeah. Okay. But he, he might just show up at the headquarters to mess with the Baron Corbin. Why not? What did New Jack yep. say? Bombs away with uh, Vic Grimes? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Jack, I can't feel my legs. You're not going to need them. <laughs> 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 Anyways, oh, that's dark. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Oh man, uh, when are we putting up our dark side review? Or are we just gonna do it Sunday morning, same as always? Well, we can do it. So we can do it later Saturday, so we have a uh, notification available in case we have stream problems on Sunday. Okay, that works. Anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in. We appreciate it, and until next time, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.